guys, it's Jessie here and welcome today to a new pick a card reading. Now guys, in this pick a card reading, we're going to be focusing upon the love messages or love predictions for the month of February 2022 and I'm going to make it a single video. So if you are single, it doesn't matter if you're female or male, this is the video for you to watch. And I wanted to do this video, especially because February is the month where, you know, we're focused so much on that love energy and I wanted to make it like a positive month month no matter you where you are in love right now it's going to be an amazing month for you my love so let's dive into the messages for today so guys as you can see I have prepared four card piles that will bring you that love prediction for this upcoming month and we're going to start off with this group number one which is represented by the Morganite gemstone for group number two I have this rainbow or a quartz for group number three, I have this beautiful pink angel aura quartz uh, gayote. And then here for group number four, I have this beautiful um, angel tower clear quartz, okay? So guys, what I would like you to do is take a moment to focus upon the month of February, what's coming up for you within your love life, especially if you're single, focus upon that. If you need more time, pause the video and meditate to get that clear, question within your mind and to get into your energy so you get to pick the pal that will resonate to you the most. Now when you've done that, go down below in the comment box or in the description box, there will leave the timestamp that will bring you directly to your reading. Now guys, keep in mind that all of the readings that I do on my channel are general readings, so only take what resonates with you. And of course, always keep following your heart, your intuition, and um, yeah, for now, let's hop into this first group and all the other groups. I'll see you in a bit. Hi there, group number one. So you're here because you're drawn to this beautiful Morganite crystal. So, so beautiful. Now, guys, especially if you are dealing with a healing of love or just the matter where you kind of like feel like you're very much guarded and there is so much things that you need healing upon, um, Morganite crystal gemstone is very very beautiful for that so if you're dealing with those things if you're trying to heal yourself and this is a beautiful gemstone to carry with you it might be also the reason that you're drawn to this beautiful morganite crystal it's also a very very powerful twin flame crystal as well so keep that in mind so my beautiful one the first card that i have for you is believe in yourself unleash your inner unicorn now with this i'm Oh wow, there is like a beautiful star glitter here upon that. Really beautiful. Okay, so um, what I'm getting with this card is to truly believe in the magic that you have within you. So maybe whether you're trying to manifest something, whether you're trying to accomplish something, uh, beautiful group number one, I feel like it's time for you to realize that you have the tools within you to make that change or to draw someone towards you. Now, especially i made this video for the single ones um you know out there so in this case i would say i'll feel that group number one is maybe trying to manifest something or wish to attract someone in their life but maybe you feel like it's not working or maybe you're kind of like attracting the wrong person or maybe just you don't know who you want to attract because Maybe you've attracted in the past like people that talk were compatible to you but then again when you met those people it was like eh it's not really the one for me or it doesn't match or it doesn't fit or you figure out like you know they weren't like fully compatible or it wasn't like what you had in mind so um i feel like with this the angels just want you to know that you have whatever it takes to manifest someone in your life. You just maybe need to make it very, very clear to yourself what you want to. So if you have doubts about, you know, who you want to attract in your life and whoever is going to fit you, take that time before you start manifesting someone because once you start like that ball rolling, it's so difficult to like turn it back. Um, so take time maybe to journalize things, to write things down, like who do I really want in my life? And to absolutely make sure who you want in your life, you need to make sure who you are, right? So I feel like with you guys, there needs to be maybe 
a going inward, a part of you that needs to do some research on yourself, like who am I really? And then moving forward, like, okay, so if I am that, what type of person will fit my life, will fit, you know, my norms and belief and what I truly want within, you know, my love relationship, my love life. So I truly believe it's now a time for you to contemplate upon the person that you want in your life and um, to truly believe that you are capable of manifesting anyone uh, in your life. So if you are also like doubting, like, do I actually have the power to manifest someone? Yes, anyone can manifest anyone in their life. It's just a matter of putting your focus and putting your belief into it and co-creating with the universe so you have this magic as well within you so this is the first card that i'm getting for you and then we have here remove limiting labels that you are wearing so we're seeing here that sometimes we can be our worst uh, enemy so if you're putting labels upon yourself and making yourself feel less making yourself feel like you are not capable of attracting someone or even deserving of love because you're lacking something or you're too delicate or you're not enough you're not intelligent you might be weak you might you know feel stupid unhealthy you know tired sad you might be um putting so much negative energy into this situation upon yourself that it's making it really really difficult for someone to actually come into your life and to show you that you're absolutely deserving of love as well so my beautiful one the angels want you to know that you are the one that are standing between you and this next love within your life it's you who maybe don't know how much your worth and don't know um how much you're now putting yourself down by thinking negatively by thinking toxic about yourself and in that way of course if you don't think enough about yourself you're going to attract people that are just not compatible with you right you're going to attract people who are bringing in that you know bs in your life so at this moment, I feel like it's time for you to truly heal from all of these toxic uh, thoughts so you can actually start to believe in your own power and so you can manifest this person within your life, okay? So let's pull up the cards that I've drawn for you. So we have here Hecate. Change is important. Release the past. Now, it could be, guys, that you guys are dealing with a past relationship or that a past relationship uh, caused you to feel so less about yourself so that you feel like you're not worthy. So maybe in this past relationship, you felt like, you know, someone um, was treating you so bad and that you deserve that. Maybe whatever, you know, went on in that relationship, your thoughts might have been you know this is what i deserve this is my fault you know everything that happened that's because of me and because you're having those toxic um thoughts maybe because you feel like that person that you were in that relationship with was everything to you it's causing you to hold on to these toxic labels and so you're not able to move forward and draw someone who's actually uh, wants to love you, who actually know what your worth is, okay? So this change um, that you're going to focus upon within February, I feel like February is going to be the month where you may be going to realize that, okay, you know, what happened in the past is like in the past and I'm trying to release that. So I feel like February for you is going to start off by realizing like, you know, whatever people have talked about me, you know, maybe whatever has happened in the past, it wasn't because I wasn't deserving of love. It was because, you know, this relationship was toxic or it wasn't something that fully matched me or even past relationships. 
It could also be that you're dealing with childhood traumas or things that are causing you to stick within a negative pattern. So I'm feeling like February for you is going to be a month where you realize that you need to release those things in order for you to move on, in order for you to move towards your love. It's really important for you to release the past and start changing. Start to act what on what you want to attract, right? So change is going to be a really important step within this month of February. You're so much going to focus upon, I feel like, healing yourself and also confronting yourself with these limiting labels that you have. So that's going to be a big part of this month of February. So then we have, wow, mirror, mirror. The beauty you see in me is the reflection of you. So, wow. I mean, this this <laughs> could like be even more correlated with this message that the angels just want you to know that you are such a beautiful person and that I feel like you might be hiding yourself for some reason or you might be talking yourself so much down that you're not seeing the beauty within yourself. So definitely seeing this, that you're looking in the mirror maybe, and it might be like in real life, you might be looking at your reflection in the mirror and just like saying, okay, dang, you you know, you don't look beautiful, or you're ugly, you know, you're, you're too thick, you're too thin, you're too this, I need to change this, I need to change that in order to attract someone. You know, maybe you're thinking, I might be so unattractive, why isn't like anyone coming into my life? So the angels are saying no more, it's not you, it's your limiting thoughts that are causing you to stay within this area, to stay within, you know, this this kind of like bubble where you feel trapped that no one finds you actually attractive, okay? You are attractive and you are very lovable and you are, you know, sweet and kind and all of those beautiful things. And most important of all, you are worthy of love. So in this month, it's going to be really important for you to try to change that mindset, to start being kind to yourself, to start saying good things to yourself. Even if you're looking at the mirror and just, you know, saying to yourself, wow, you look amazing today or giving yourself compliments. You know, I, I think I look cute today. I think I look happy today. I feel like I'm glowing. I can see that I'm glowing. Just talking nice to yourself is going to make sure that all of these limiting thoughts are slowly going to move away and that your vibration is going to be lifted to a place where you're going to attract this beautiful person in your life as well. So there is a need within February to focus upon yourself and to start finding yourself as important and loved as you want someone else to uh, be attracted to you okay so then we have cast spells protect and heal so we have here um i might feel like someone who is a cancerian coming up in your life here um that might help you to deal with this but also uh, with this i feel like there is a lot of healing going on there's a lot of internal issues that we need to deal with before maybe we can attract or allow someone in our life but it doesn't mean that there is no possibility for you group number one to attract someone in your life because they're also saying it's all up to you so the moment you start changing your mind and removing these labels and start thinking that you are worthy of love, that is the exact moment that you start to attract someone that matches you and that will treat you right in your life, okay? So this is this super, super beautiful. So then I had uh, drawn some cards for you guys that will give me some clarifications about these three cards so i had um focus on your thoughts wow <laughs> what did i tell you guys this is i didn't even like see these cards so i'm like wow it's like amazing how these cards gonna like wow so focus on your thoughts so definitely in february is going to be a month where you need to get rid of those negative emotions now guys sometimes um it can seem like it's so simple like how do i remove those negative emotions but sometimes you need to write things down uh, when i was shuffling the cards for group number one i kept seeing the card journaling 
Um, so for you guys, I would really suggest for you guys to write things down. Um, writing is also a form of therapy. So while you write things down, while you keep like a diary, um, write things off because it can relieve like a huge stress factor of your shoulder when you kind of like write those words down. Also, make sure that while you're writing, you're not only putting like the negative things down, but make sure that you always end with something positive. So especially when you're focusing like upon yourself, make sure when you're journaling, you end that last sentence. Okay. You know, I'm happy that I wrote this and I'm beautiful, you know, and the more you write things down, the more beautiful things you write down about yourself, those are going to be things that you know, you're going to trick yourself into believing so that you start believing them as well because writing is a really powerful tool. So not only writing is a tool to, you know, to uh, help you um, relieve the stress of these limiting beliefs, it's also a way to make sure that you start believing in these new habits. Um, into loving yourself and taking care of yourself. So really, um, February is going to be a month where you need to focus upon your thoughts and make sure that they truly align with what you want to attract within the future, okay? So focus on momentum and determination and also that inner strength, which for me really correlates beautifully with this protect and heal. So know and also with that believing your strength unleash your inner unicorn it's all about you knowing that you are powerful enough to heal these thoughts um to heal these things within yourself okay so really keep that in mind and as well i feel this this might be a group when some of you guys might be dealing with a little bit of depression um especially when we are having kind of like negative thoughts about ourselves. So really start with small steps to help you, you know, heal through these times. So rebalance your life as spring equinox, renewal, restoring balance, sowing seeds. I also feel that, you know, some of you guys in February will be trying to get a balance back. And I do feel this is more of an inner balance. So getting control over your emotions. If you guys have been feeling, as I said, a little bit down or a little bit off or feeling like, you know, everyone is deserving of love except you or that you have been seeing like people around you get like all, you know, happy and thing and you would like, it's not happening for me. Why it's not happening for me? You know, why is this always kind of like, maybe do I have like bad luck or something? Um, I feel like this is you group number one. Now that at this moment you are in a renewal phase. So um, when maybe the rest might be building something, you are renewing something, you are renewing your thoughts, your energy, you're getting maybe to the place where you are finally starting to think more positive about yourself because maybe you're trying to release this past negative toxic patterns so you're rebalancing your life which eventually will lead you to you know attracting someone new in your life so you're completely right when you're experiencing that everyone is gonna like you know further along and you are gonna like starting over and it might feel like a little bit you know and you know like oh, you know why is this always happening to me but know that because you are rebuilding because you're reframing your thoughts you'll be able to attract someone that is even more beautiful and absolutely compatible with you within the future okay and then i also have like a second card for this uh, mirror yourself which was when the magic is in the air, okay? Moon magic happening, synchronicity, time to act. So I do feel, as I said, like there might be something like, you know, on the horizon. And I feel like you guys are the type of people maybe who get like in a lot of readings, you know, this is going to happen for you really, really soon, but it doesn't happen. And then you feel like you're kind of like left down or maybe you're the type that will get like in a reading, okay, you know, it's not happening yet for you. And I do feel like there is something in the air, especially when I'm seeing like that unicorn energy, something magical is about to happen. So I do feel that there is someone maybe lingering on the horizon to enter your life once you kind of like reframes 
uh, reframe these thoughts and finally start loving yourself i feel like this person is like about to enter your life so there is really something beautiful happening here and definitely when this person come into your life or when this person is about to enter your life you'll see a lot of synchronicities you see kind of like angel numbers you see you know signs you see things that will remind you of love and kind of like make you think like hmm is this gonna like happening i definitely feel like something is lingering around this energy which is very very beautiful for you guys and then we have sowing new seeds um new moon so that's also here with balance your life here with the spring equinox is also sowing seeds the beginning you know manifesting the new uh and visualizing dreams with absolutely guys this is absolutely beautiful that i feel like there there might be you know someone coming into your life if you guys have been manifesting someone then this person is definitely about to enter your life but it truly for me starts here that maybe in january uh, in january in february you'll get a new start with maybe a new person um and I feel like that's because you guys are reframing your thoughts, reframing and letting go of this negative energy. If you guys haven't done that yet, then this will be kind of like the team of February for you that you'll start to think more positive about yourself. And the more uh, you start thinking like positive about yourself, that is, of course, as well what you're going to attract. Right. So let's get some tarot cards to see, um, you know who is coming so we've got judgment we got awakening revelation now with this i definitely feel an awakening moment coming here in february and i do feel it's of course more in the area of your love life so i feel like you know you will it will finally maybe be revealed to you what you what you are worth so i feel in february you guys will be going inwards as i said like figuring out why you are carrying all these limited thoughts and labels upon you it might be from the past it might be you know from future, uh, past relationship or something like that however you're going to awake and realize like okay this is holding me back and i don't want to feel like stuck within this anymore so i'm going to let it go i'm going to release this definitely and as we're having the full we have a lot of optimism we have like a lot of freedom especially when you once get rid of those uh limiting beliefs know how free you will feel how much you will start to enjoy life and also for me this full card represent that there is a a face here within february that you just need to trust within the universe that they will lead you to this person they will lead you to this i feel like there is like a blind faith here you need to take like that leap of faith like absolutely know that there is something on the horizon they are assuring you that something really beautiful is coming your way it's just kind of like a matter of fate Ooh, and we have here the star so what did i tell you guys like there is something really really beautiful coming up here um i feel like this as i said like we have renewal here again we have harmony again but i also feel it might be like a wish coming true like a person really coming into your life and just you know that manifestation coming true within this month also we have here the dawn of cups which is curiosity discovery so i feel like this person is someone that might be completely new to you might startle you might um, bring in new vibrations that are absolutely gorgeous for you within this month of february especially when we have like that um when we have valentine's coming up these are beautiful beautiful messages to bring towards you so i actually want to get like uh, a couple of these cards and i wanted to get like these cards because i truly want to give you guys angel messages um around these messages so let's see what we have so we have here the king and we have motivational inspiring uh, ambition take a leadership role step into the spotlight public speaking 
Keep your eyes on the big picture, communicate your vision, and don't be sensitive to criticism. Now in this, I do feel like they also want you to take um, a leading role within your life. Um, they want you to step up and to make sure that if you want someone in your life, that if this is kind of like a plan or a manifestation of yours, then know that you are in control of that manifestation, that uh, you have the tools, but you have to use those tools, right? So you really need to take action to make sure that your wishes and dreams are coming true. But also it's up to you to get rid of those um, toxic labels within uh, yourself, you know, to start changing your mindset because actually no one else can do it except you. So once you figure out that that is kind of like the way to go, that that is something that you need to do to take the lead into that. Okay. And then we have, you know, you might be working too hard, too many hours. Uh, you need to balance your life and let others help you. Okay. So we have like a couple of times that there is a need here for balance within your life. So um, in this way, I feel like they want you to start balancing your emotional state of mind um, with maybe the rest of your life. So I feel like that might be like in this balance, maybe you're focusing like so much or maybe you're being caught up by all of these emotions, all of these negative things are influencing your daily life like so so much so i feel like it's time for you to balance out those emotions by getting control over them whether that's through journaling or whether that's like through you know really asking some professional help or ask your friends to help you but i feel like someone needs to help you kind of like de-stress and put those feelings more into perspective because sometimes we can get like so caught up in our negative thoughts that it could actually drives out uh, drive us into a depression so really be careful about that um, so if you're noticing that it's causing you to stress out or to really think negative um, because there is kind of like no one entering your life at this moment take action upon that as I said like write something down or seek your friend's help or some professional help in that area but no that with all of this even even if this might seem like a little bit heavy know that there is something really beautiful upon the horizon here because we have the unicorn magic we have this beautiful person coming in that is really bringing a lot of beautiful lovely and exciting energy towards you so group number one this was your reading uh for february 2022 i hope this reading resonated with you if it did be sure to hit that thumbs up and also like button and if you're new here and you like these type of videos make sure to subscribe to my channel um because you know i post videos on a weekly basis so for now a beautiful soul thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video Bye! Hi there, group number two. So you're here because you're drawn to this beautiful rainbow or a quartz. So let's see what this February is going to bring you, my single ones. So the first card that we have here for you is turn criticism into kindness. So with this, I'm getting that maybe at this moment you guys are focusing so much upon others or criticizing others and it might be because you guys don't feel like completely um confident at this moment it might be that you guys have a little bit of doubt or that your self-esteem has kind of like thicken you know some punches and that's why maybe you feel like you want to get it but maybe at this moment sometimes when we want to get things our minds kind of like moves on into envying other people instead of focusing like where we actually need to focus upon so we end up maybe criticizing others or even ourselves so so much that um we get caught up in that cycle of negativity so this card really encourages us to focus upon how we can turn those criticism into kindness toward ourselves and also others because 
um, sometimes when we judge people, it's actually because we don't feel comfortable with ourselves. So when we're judging or even when we're ju judging ourselves, it's time to kind of like take a moment to pause and to think why we are judging other people or why we are, you know, making those comments. So I do feel like uh, February is going to be a month where there's going to be asked from you to really take notice of your thoughts and these energies and to dive into those those thoughts those emotions like you know why am i doing this why am i feeling like this kind of like to really be kind to yourself but also others and that can help us to become like more open as well to other people that are stepping into our life. So in a way, February is going to be a month of you, maybe where you are creating more space and more kind of like in um, energy for new people to come into your life. So because we are getting rid of maybe judgmental ideas about people, we're able to open up to new people and maybe those new people you might have kind of like end up with because they might have not been what you thought so i i'm kind of like feeling maybe you need to open up to new ideas new people um because maybe this person that you're trying to attract is not your typical your usual type so the more you open up to these new ideas the more you know room you will create for this person to step into your life wow really beautiful so then we have journal it down write how you feel so especially when we are being you know very judgmental towards other people or we're criticizing someone else or even ourselves um, when we take time to write our emotions down we can get like a broader perspective of what's going on because once you write things down they kind of like become i don't know they sometimes they can become kind of like real you can see it it's actually you're writing down also writing is a good way to um get to know yourself get to know kind of like your mood and stuff so uh, writing down journaling things down especially when you're going through a transition like this to then like refocus why we're doing certain things um, when we're trying to learn about ourselves. When you write things down, you can see like where you start and then eventually where you grow, grow towards. So journaling things down in February is going to be really, really important to help you throughout this phase to open yourself up to new experiences and new people that might be entering your life within this beautiful month, okay? So group number two, these are the cards that I have as well for you. We have the lidded card here, which talks about reclaiming your power. So definitely here, as I said, like when we're trying or when we are focusing like so much upon others, it might be that our own, own self-esteem is a little bit, you know, shaky, a little bit rocky. Um, so we feel a little bit insecure. So um, the month of, uh, month of February is going to be a month where you need to trust yourself again, trust that even also if others are criticizing you it's all about taking it in and not taking it personally so i feel like it's time for you to reclaim your power and know that you are very very powerful but also that you don't need to let other people talk you down and especially yourself so we can be like a worst enemy within this we can put ourselves so so much down so whether it is because you're not completing kind of like your goals or maybe because your family member thinks that you should have a partner or maybe your friends think you know that you should be somewhere and you're not there and you're talking yourself down or you're letting other people talking yourself down you're taking in those punches that are making yourself esteem just like you know just become smaller and smaller it's time for you to reclaim your power and say like you know enough is enough and also to yourself like if you are the one talking yourself down it's now time to realize that no longer are you going to take that from yourself because you're you're becoming your worst enemy within this right so you need to put like a boundary why am i having those thoughts 
Are they coming like from the environment? Are people talking me down indirectly? Why am I thinking like this? So once you write those things down, you can pinpoint where they're coming from and you can start healing those patterns. And once you start doing that, you will be creating like a whole new road for a new person that will come into your life because that is something that i'm definitely seeing as well here so then we have who yes go for it so with this beautiful card beautiful card guys i'm seeing that maybe there i feel like you guys maybe have already started something maybe you guys have you know decided already for yourself that you know you're going to make it differently or that you're going to change your mindset or that you know there is something like up in the air there that you're thinking about like you know should i maybe do this course for myself maybe you want to start something for yourself that is going to help you uh rebuild your self-esteem maybe you want to like do a course maybe you want to join like a dance class or maybe you want to you know do something that you've longed for i feel like this might be like something that you really longed for it but you're depriving yourself from it um then this is going to be a great yes from the universe like do it that's really going to help you to create new ways for people to enter your life and it's also going to help your self-esteem a lot and also to not to be judgmental towards you because like we we're not perfect none of us are perfect and that's just something that you know we need to realize and being hard on ourselves or allowing others to be that hard upon us that's really really toxic so we don't need that um in our life okay so um then we have spells and rituals bring magic and self-care together wow this is really beautiful so with this i feel like there is you know a really love routine that you need to maybe bring into your into your life and also a little bit of magic a little bit of sprinkle of boop magic so i feel like with this if you have like something as i said that you really want to do that you kind of like be putting out for thousands of reasons maybe because other people think so or because you feel like you're not good enough or you know maybe you you want to take dance classes for example but you feel like okay i don't have like the body or you know other people you know they look better than me or they have like more experience than me um they're saying to just remove kind of like all of those criticisms towards yourself or maybe that you're thinking that others will give you and just go for it know that you can handle this and that your talents and your skills will come you know as you go forth as you move forward they will build and that's okay even if you're starting like from scratch there is no way for you uh, there's no reason for you not to start not to kind of like move forth and just you know enter this be kind to yourself and also this could also very be that you really need to take some rituals that will help you to relax and calm down and also feel beautiful again so if there's kind of like little things that you can do in your morning routine or your nighttime routine put those things in incorporate those things if they will help you to bump up your self-esteem okay so guys i have drawn some uh, oracle cards that will help me kind of like you know get more in-depth uh, clarifying messages from these three cards so here the first card that will clarify the lilith reclaim your power we have here where fortune lies fortune the will of uh, life faded moment prosperity so i definitely feel that in the month of january something beautiful will start happening to you whether that is like you know you um doing something as i say that you have been contemplating like so long for and that finally is going to happen that will make you feel loved and that will kind of like open up new possibilities within your love life that is going to happen for you but also i feel like it might also be a fated encounter or you know a fated um moment that will happen within february for you that will bring you closer to love so 
um yeah really beautiful having this little fortune think of it you know as spinning that wheel and something beautiful comes up and sometimes this can be like you know good and sometimes this could be bad but looking at the cards around it it really shows me that there is something really beautiful really like up right right there that you can kind of like pick up that's really beautiful and that's coming towards you within the month of february and i do feel like it's something that you've longed for for a really long time and this could be like that you start off you know as i said maybe you start up acting or you start up taking singing classes or you start up doing something that you really love and then at the same time kind of like boom you open up to new opportunities and a really nice person you know comes into your life and it's kind of like hoo ha ha everything happening like like as they're supposed to be kind of like that's then so then we have the card here yes go for it a look at the outer side moon and libra so definitely could be that we're talking about a libra person right here um resolving conflict finding balance um i definitely feel that what whatever that is going you know on your mind whatever you want to undertake that is going to bring more balance into your love life so that means maybe that you learn to accept yourself more because you start doing this or that you finally feel like you are moving towards love because you want to find like that love life balance right you want to have like financial stability you want your love life as well to flourish but you know you want things in your life and you also have your spiritual life so i feel maybe um with going moving forward with this action you will find that you know your love life will start to flourish again that there will be a restoration of balance in your love life so really beautiful okay and then we had a uh, second card there that clarified it a quiet time to retreat moon set endings uh quietness step back so uh with this also um i feel like maybe um for this to happen you need maybe to let something go you need to maybe you know have the end of an era where you're criticizing yourself where you're talking yourself down or maybe even uh let yourself be bullied to uh certain point that you lose self-esteem because other talk that way to you so i feel like there is like an other era here coming up for you um so take that into consideration um you're going to end a phase in your life and something beautiful is going to enter because there is a beautiful you know situation shape happening here in february so let's see what else we have here we have for spells and rituals i have the full moon again we have here letting go facing the shadow and also completion so definitely there's going to be a end up here with you're facing your shadows uh, literally by you know um maybe talking to yourself or maybe just cutting people off that are really toxic for your love life or are just not trying to rebuild you but are constantly putting you down and that is weighing on your self-esteem so those are going to be things that you're going to let go within february so you can finally focus upon your love life so let's move now to the tarot cards to see what the cards are going to say so we have here two cards we have the five of ones we have frustration and we have oppositions so what i tell you guys there might be that you guys have to release some people letting go of some people that have been talking negatively about you guys that are causing you guys to constantly feel down or you know like you're not enough or that are focusing on giving you guys so much criticism you know why aren't you there why don't you have like a person why don't you have you know like this or that i feel like in february is going to be a month where you let go of those people or where you really are going to zoom in you know why i'm letting those people talk that bad about me i'm not worthy of that so it's up to you how you're going to let go maybe of those toxic relationships so you can focus upon new things that are coming into your life new opportunities that are coming into your life okay who guys what did i tell you guys we have here the tower we have disruption we have conflict so definitely um faded moment guys it could also be that something really happens that will 
be in a certain way uncomfortable but also very much towards this love life within you uh for you guys so for example if you guys are experiencing that people are constantly putting you down or frustrating your love life it might be access it might be like toxic people it might be just like your family or friends that are talking negative about your love life that is all going to change and that change might not come um that really will come like for you, as we're talking about here, it's a faded moment. It's something that's meant to happen. So something maybe will happen that will remove all of these toxic uh, people out of your life and move you like into a place that is more, you know, better for you, better for you to flourish and uh, to feel really good about yourself. So something will happen within February that will make all of those people uh, be removed out of your life uh, maybe you thinking that strength or you know um, taking some decisions after you know something happened uh, maybe after a conflict um, so all these things take them into consideration know that it's a general reading so only take of course what resonates with you but this applies that something that is just faded that you just can like overlook or change that is going to happen within February and I do feel after that who like a huge relief like a huge you know doorway to this profound love will be opening up for you guys and um i feel also maybe that this person that will come into your life will be someone as i said before like that maybe that's not like your typical person okay so then we have these two cards we have the knight of swords here again we have conflict we have anguish so definitely we cannot like get around it that some people might not want like the best for you and that's why you know your love life is not going the way you want it it might be also like an ex trying to get back into your life um, but know that it's time for you to completely start a new cycle without this person that might not be easy but that might be like the thing that you guys need to do to truly open up for someone new in your life and we've got temperance and with this temperance i feel really taking it slow not um uh, making decisions really really quickly but really takes time to Think about what you truly want and what this um, what needs to be done sometimes we want to act impulsive because we feel a certain way sometimes we just you know want to listen to a card reading and say okay you know I'm just like going to cut off like all these people out of my life but um, I'm feeling even if you want to even if you know who I'm talking about even where you know like where it stems from it's it's not the time yet because there is something going to happen here that you don't need to you don't need to work kind of like towards it it's going to happen so i'm getting like you know be patient it's all going to work out i feel like group number two you are in a very hectic time that's why this journalizing it's really important for you to just you know kind of like have that therapeutic stress relief and standing strong within february is going to be something that is really really important for you so guys the last card that i'm going to draw are kind of like two cards from the angel card deck just to kind of like get some messages from the angels for you so we have a wise counselor so unity with a spiritual minded community ask the divine for help and trust the answers will come okay compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you so this for me really correlates so beautifully with this temperance card know that if you have asked for help that that help is coming through angelic guidance or through your spirit group they're really there for you and they're trying to communicate with you and especially to wait for this moment to happen and afterwards you'll see that uh, once that happens you'll find your strength again and that you'll be able to open up to new experiences um, that you have been waiting for and that you are so deserving of so we have here the queen and we have general uh practical gracious materialistic so we have the queen of pentacle here it's definitely asked for you to stand in your own power know as well that aside from the emotional topic also the financially will be um 
you know outcome will be also positive in this and we also have a love of family and home so in the end you'll find the balance that you want beautiful things are coming your way and they might not all happen guys in february i feel like i have to say it but i feel like the start for this the start of this beautiful love message will you know happen within February okay so group number two I hope that this reading resonated with you if it did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new here and you like what you see consider subscribing to my channel I would love to have you around for now thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next one bye hi there group number three so you're here because you're drawn to this beautiful pink gay out or quartz guys such a beautiful crystal so let's hop into the cards and see what is coming up for you within your love life in um february so whoa let's see so the first card i have here unleash your inner wild child get up and dance so i feel like maybe for you group number three i feel it's time for you to go like a little bit well to do the things that you love in a way maybe you have been focusing so so much upon maybe attracting someone in your love life or um you know creating a new opportunity and the angels are really saying you know get out just like enjoy yourself just like you know i'm feeling like who have like a great time focus upon having a great time focus upon beautiful things in your life a laugh you know create beautiful moments because that is exactly when you're going to meet a new person when you're not focusing upon this person when you're absolutely enjoying your life that's like who you know when this might happen to you this might you know create a new opportunity for you and you might now be thinking okay you know that you know if i'm having like such a good time on my own and i need like nobody else in my life but that's going to happen like so so naturally when you feel like who you know i'm enjoying myself i'm enjoying my life i'm really celebrating my life um i feel you know maybe if you guys also have been like so caught up into work or have been like so caught up in your mind um so caught up like in bugs or i don't know i'm seeing like you know someone who's really been focused upon something maybe you you know you have been doing like some tasks you have been going like through some courses it's not time for you to stretch your legs and do like something that really is going to bring in fun into your life because that's going to create new opportunities where the love is going to happen for you okay and then we have ask for help it doesn't make you weak so a beautiful souls it might feel that maybe within you know certain areas of your love life it might feel like you want help but at the other at the other side maybe you are not ready yet to ask for the help or maybe you feel like um people will perceive you as weak if you ask for their help so maybe it could be like as simple as if you don't want to bother your friends uh, to do like something fun with you because you feel like they might be super super busy as well or something like that it could be small things it could be like bigger things that you don't want maybe other people to know what's truly going on within you maybe you're feeling sad or down or something and um it's causing you to detach it's causing you to stay like in your shell instead for asking for that help for people to do kind of like fun things with you so i feel like really trust your friends trust your family or people that are near you that can help you throughout whatever you're going through so it's really important for you in february to ask for help in the love area where you need maybe that little bit of help that little bit of guidance from your friends or you know family so group number three i have drawn some oracle cards for you i have three of them right here and then we're going to get into the clarifying cards for these oracle cards so the first one wait i have here is movement inspiration is drawn to motion okay wow so we have here unleash your inner you know wild child by dancing and while we have here movement i'm kind of like feeling like my messages are a little bit i had to the cards because i had dancing coming up in the second group and now i'm having like dancing so i'm kind of like don't know if my reading was kind of like reading into this okay but probably not because okay anywho but 
Um, if you're drawn to this as well, maybe group number two might also be a message that you want to listen to. But um, I'm feeling right here that um, maybe you need to open up to new possibilities by opening yourself up. Dancing is a good way um, to open yourself up to new energies. It kind of like makes you feel like a little kid or just um, makes a little bit of freedom comes in and open up to new possibilities and things that are coming ahead but also i'm feeling just kind of like walking into the nature moving emotions i feel like um if you have been sitting like a whole lot inside then of course you're not going to meet a new person so if you want to meet a new person the angels are encouraging you to step out of your comfort zone and to get some moving going on whether it is you know i feeling like cycling i'm feeling like you know going to uh walk or you know take some walks outside go to a club just like jam i also feel like going to a gym kind of like open up to new places that maybe you felt like nah that's not something for me and then you know to try them out to see you know if you're going to meet people that are or maybe are like-minded to you as well so we have in here the sun so definitely for me that correlates with the feeling that you know you need to go outside i feel like a lot of you group number three in this in this group have been sitting a whole lot inside whether it is because you know we are in the lockdown right now but i feel like a lot of you need that sunshine so you guys need to go outside you guys need to experience that sunshine if you guys are in a place where, the, where it is winter then for a lot of people it will mean that you know sometimes we get affected by not having enough sunlight so i'm feeling like this is a really great encouragement for you to step out of your comfort zone or maybe to push yourself to go outside or to do some workouts or you know to get some movement going on there because i feel like it's weighing down your thoughts and your emotions and as well as how you feel into um, moving yourself forward into a relationship right um and um it says like here find a balance you know find a balance if you are working on something but also make enough room and space for your love life as well okay so i feel like you guys might not have been like the typical group that really has like a diehard focus upon their love life it's still kind of like lingering but it doesn't have like your full attention and the angels just want you to find that balance within not diving like too much into work but not over obsessing as well in your love life so really going outside and just taking walks and just enjoying yourself is also a great way just to also love yourself and to give yourself the time and space that you will give like someone else so we have here the blue moon you already make your masterpiece wow this is kind of like really beautiful here so with this i'm getting that you guys down to it i feel like you guys have all the tools that is needed to create your perfect love life perfect you know or the love life that you guys want or that you guys have been wishing for or something like that but definitely you have everything what it takes so if you guys are wishing for someone to enter your life you guys are ready you guys have like all the boxes checked that's why i feel like this group is the last group who's kind of like concerned for some reason for people to come into their life i feel like it's like i don't know it's kind of like eh, i didn't i don't know with you guys it's kind of like a strange emotion right here um but i feel like you guys have everything i feel like you guys are the magician you guys have like everything within your hand to make this happen but for some reason maybe it's uh, i don't know there's something holding you guys back from actually making it happen and um it might be because you guys have certain thoughts and emotions or experiences that might be holding you back so that's why maybe you guys are focusing much more on work or much more on the material side of life instead of focusing like upon the love life okay but um love is also just you know having fun with yourself and while you're having fun maybe someone else will join that circus and you guys can have fun kind of like together but definitely i feel like with you guys it's more of like on the back of your mind 
So I've got some clarifying cards for these. So we have plant your feet on the ground, earth, be at one, center grounding. So definitely when I'm seeing here the movement card, we're talking about that, you know, we need to go outside. So group number three, if you have been sitting too much inside, the angels are urging you to go outside to experience nature, to just, you know, ground yourself again, just breathe the, the fresh air and just like go outside that is amazing that's going to also be amazing for your love life within february and then i have i believe in myself we have the moon in aries so it might be that you guys in aries or that it's called upon you to take some action assertiveness courage i am so in this i feel like you guys need to take some action there's actually energy pouring through from the angels to say you know take act action just like take control of your love and i feel like some of you guys may go like man i don't want to i don't want to yet but for some reason they are very very encouraging you to take action in your love life because i do feel like there is something really beautiful waiting for you and i feel like you guys won't believe it until you see it but then again, they cannot like force it like upon you. But I do feel they want you to open up for this idea that maybe someone beautiful is coming within your life and that is that that person is very worthy of it. Um, so if you want something to happen within your love life, guys, you need to change. You need to you need to change your way, kind of like mix it up a little bit to bring in some fun back into your life, okay? And then we have wish upon a star, shooting star, possibilities, dream, and vision, and hopes. And this correlates really, really beautiful that you are ready to manifest whatever you you want to. So definitely, I feel like there is maybe a part of you guys that want to manifest something, someone in your life. I feel like, you know, there is, you guys feel like so, like, do well at this moment there is a huge part of you guys that i feel like wants something and then another part is like nah i didn't know and i feel like that and uh, i didn't know it's kind of like a guarded it's like more of a guarded nah i didn't know i didn't want to because i feel like a lot of you guys don't want to be kinda, like sucked up in a relationship and get your heart broken again or something like that or you know go like through all of that again so I feel like you guys have built a huge defense mechanism to not allow anyone like near close to you guys and also maybe for yourself to dive into other things, everything else except love. But deep down, you want that. You want that love. You want someone to spend maybe Valentine's with or, you know, the rest of your life with or just, you know, share little things with, get that love with. So um, they're saying you have actually everything that is needed for this. You just have to take action. You just need to make that wish and it will happen for you. But also with that, you need to create the possibility for that wish to actually come true. So I'm feeling like a push and go, kind of like a pull, pull and pull and go. How do you call that? Okay, like someone pulling and the other one is going to like pulling back. Something like that. Like, you know, it's kind of like I want to, but I don't want to. I, want, I really want to, but I don't want to. Like some type of like game, not game, but you get the point. Like, you know. You're really a little bit doubtful about that, but um, you guys are going to find your way within February. I feel like you guys are um, getting more and more grip about these emotions. And I feel like the more February progresses, the more you will find that you will become more and more relaxed and you will um, release more and more because the emperor, guys, I feel like emperor will walk into your life within february wow and the emperor i feel like it might be like someone who's older and wiser than you guys it could be age but it could also be just someone who is older in their thoughts um in their actions than you guys that are further in life i feel the emperor is someone who's also financially very secure someone who brings in a lot of wisdom and a lot of passion as well they have a really fiery energy so a really really beautiful to have this person come into your life as we're having you know the emperor is as well represented by aries and we have as well aries here so we have like double aries so definitely someone that might be coming into your life or that is like a second in, uh, enhancement of like this card that you really need to take action for this person to come into your life. But 
definitely getting that uh, for a lot of you guys it will be that you know an Aries person will come into your love life and in that way also help you to get like out and just like enjoy yourself more uh, within this month of February okay so I feel like there's going to be a lot maybe you're like a person who's very much like in their shell and then this person comes along and then who you know a lot of things happen we have your justice so this justice card stands for understanding and karmic balance so i do feel like when we're talking about um grounding yourself letting go of karmic um patterns so maybe you are stuck in a certain karmic patterns and that will start changing within the month of february and you'll start understanding more and more about certain situations but also more about your emotions and why you are dealing uh, with certain emotions the way that you are okay so we have in here the eight of swords wow which is really really correlating with this message we have overcoming fears and self-entrapment so definitely it might be that at the beginning of february you might feel like trapped you might feel like as i said like that is like what i was feeling like you know that pulling and then not and then you know i want to but i don't want to so feeling very trapped in that cycle you know i want a relationship but i don't want to because i don't want to be hurt so i feel like a lot of you guys are going to overcome that fear within february whether that's because you guys are going to take action upon that and see that you know it's actually holding you from moving forth within your love life or that someone is actually going to come into your life that is you know something that we have to think uh as well and then we have the eight of rings here which is a resourcefulness and positive potential this really for me stands for that this side of the card reading which shows that there is a lot of potential that are kind of like opportunities resourcefulness coming up within this month that will help you to meet a new person or maybe understand the situation better so you guys can understand your love life better so you guys can start moving into what you really desire what you really want and for you guys who are meeting someone who might be like an Aries that um, shows that you guys will open up because this person will come into your life and will be, you know, your wish coming true. So I just want to get like two more cards, kind of like angelic cards to see like what type of message they would want to share. These are also kind of like tarot cards but I just want to kind of like get to know like you know what they would like you guys to get for a message here so let's see angels do you have any less messages for group number three let's see group number three so we have transformation here a significant life experience that requires change to be made so definitely we have here the tower card so i do feel there is a major transformation coming here in your life so it could definitely be that if you are so focused upon the material thing you know life your love life is going to bloom again with this new person entering your life that could also be like a huge transformation but it could also be like an inner transformation that you guys can go through within the month of february that you guys think okay you know i'm ready i'm ready to definitely transform myself into moving uh, forward into um experiencing new things um instead of just like sitting and you know waiting for it to happen to me and then we have here the king of swords and the king of swords here um for me kind of like also correlates with the emperor card a little bit um but it shows that maybe someone who's a little bit older that's coming um with in your love life this person is very intelligent it's very respectful um communicates very clearly and uh this might be a person who's also a very public speaker okay so keep those things in mind group number three these were your cards i hope that this reading resonated with you if it did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new here and you like what you see consider subscribing to my channel i would love to have you around for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye Hi there, Group Number Four. So you're here because you're drawn to this beautiful angel aura quartz tower. 
So let's hop into your reading to see what's coming up next for you as a single one in the month of February, okay? So first up what I have is the card of allow unlimited abundance. Now definitely within this card I can feel that a lot of abundance is coming within your love life in February 2022. Now abundance is a huge word. So if we're talking about in your love life, it could be that you're going to meet someone or that in a way that you're going to feel very, very loved. Uh, maybe you might be showered with gifts or something beautiful is going to happen for you in the month of February. So overall, this is a very good card to get like at the beginning of this reading. It's really, really positive for you guys. Um, so let's see what you guys have as the second card. You are perfectly beautiful. Now this, I definitely see that some of you guys within this group might be a little bit critic uh, a critic to yourself and especially the way you guys look so it could be that you guys find yourself to be too thick too thin or you know you guys might have red hair or you guys might have one curly hair or straight hair or something like that I feel like there is a lot of critic to criticism towards yourself within this and that you might be comparing yourself too much with other people and in your love life this is causing you to kind of like block yourself to receive that love coming in and that might be like why you guys are staying single because you guys are talking yourself down so the angels really want you to know that you are perfect the way that you are and it doesn't matter like you know if you find someone to be more beautiful than you or you know vice versa uh, in the end there is going to be someone who truly loves you for who you are because for every bottle there's kind of like a perfect lid so know that there is someone out there that fits you that is going to be there for you so if you guys are having thoughts like okay you know no one's going to love me because i'm too fat or no one's going to love me because i'm too thin or you know i have like big butt or you know i don't have like big boobs or something like that i don't know what kind of like negative thoughts you guys might be having about yourself but know that none of those things are reasons why someone should or shouldn't love you so know that there is someone out there that it's perfectly matching but that this person is not yet in your love life because you maybe are not believing that you're worthy of this person okay you might be causing like a huge block because if someone if you believe that you're fat and someone for an example like if I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I'm too fat and I'm feeling really um, uncomfortable about that and someone tells me, you know, you look great, uh, most of us will answer, you know, no, I'm like too fat or we're going to think like, okay, you're lying, you're not, you're not speaking the truth, right? So we're blocking those positive comments because we're having negative ideas about ourselves and that's causing, you know, us to uh, stay like within our safety zone instead of opening up for new people so i feel like in february is going to be really important for you to open up to the idea that other people find you to be perfectly the way you are no matter what kind of like flaws you have all those quirkiness or flaw or things you know there there is always going to be someone that finds you attractive or beautiful so don't ever talk negative about yourself because you're just perfect the way you are and we are all different okay so keep that in mind so i have drawn three oracle cards right here and then some more oracle cards that will clarify these cards so let's start up so we have the moon beam you're on the right path so i believe that maybe in february you guys will start in a certain mindset on thinking pattern or that maybe you guys want to change something or that you guys might have started something within january so maybe you guys are actively trying to change something within your routine to start removing these negative thoughts from your you know your system these negative patterns right so the angels are telling you that you are right now on the right path into committing yourself to love yourself so that someone can enter your life that will love you as much as you love yourself okay which is really important i'm also seeing here that you guys are trying to manifest someone what you seek is seeking you know that whatever you're manifesting is also trying to manifest you which is actually pretty cute 
what did I tell you guys? You know, there's always someone that thinks the same way or that thinks, you know, no one likes me. No one will, you know, think of me like this or that. Or So we're all human. So we're all having like the same thoughts and sometimes experiences. So know that there is a counter soul of you that wants you as well and that's also waiting for you which i find to be very very comforting at this moment for some reason for some of you guys so know that your manifestation is like on on its way to you and then we have oh my god so so beautiful we have your trust um this beautiful butterfly for me also stands for transformation i feel that you guys might be going in february maybe to a glow up or that you guys are transforming into something because you're on the right path tells me that as i said like you guys might have been starting or you know embarked on a journey that you guys are kind of like on and whether this is for example if you feel felt like you were like you know you wanted to lose weight and that was kind of like you go in january and you started like okay i'm going to lose weight and you started to feeling like more you know more and more good about yourself you kind of like having positive um thoughts about yourself but in the same way um you're feeling more healthy you're getting like more energetic you're doing kind of like more stuff you're like on that verge of transforming and so also on attracting love into your life and guys i'm not saying that you know you shouldn't be happy with your body or anything like that this is just kind of like an example it could be anything else so um whatever you guys have thought about that is helping you guys to create a more positive view upon yourself they want you to know that that is kind of like the right path for it and you just need to trust the universe because the universe has beautiful plans with you and also with your love life so i'm thinking maybe january uh, february will not be like the actual month with some where something happens within your love life but that you guys are definitely working towards that beautiful moment um that's like what i'm getting for you guys so as I said, I drawn some more oracle cards to get a clarifying message about this. Um, so we have embrace your destiny. So finding your path, overcoming fear and soul. So definitely, as I told you guys, I feel like you guys have embarked like on a journey that is taking you on a whole new path in your destiny. And because you're kind of like on this path, it is definitely your soul purpose, your soul path. And when you're like on that journey, destined path you are also close into meeting like your your person because you're going to find someone who um is going to be absolutely you know encouraging you in, as well in your life purpose but i do feel like there are some fears that we need to overcome within this so even though we're like on that path we're not like on the end yet of that path there are still things that we need to um work through before we can get like to the part where our manifestation is actually coming true but we're definitely like on the right path so we have fire up the soul we have time to act passion take action so definitely um it's telling me that if you want someone in your life then manifest this person manifest this person that's that's how this person is going to come towards you so if you have been manifesting this person that's like the right way i'm just like giving like a short message with this like take action manifest this person because there is so much abundance kind of like around you whatever you wish for is you know ready for you to already just to you know glide into your life it's it's right there for you if you want it okay and then oh my god we have what did i tell you guys total transformation lunar eclipse right here with every end comes a new beginning transformation so definitely uh i got kind of like these two cards for the cards of trust so um for me this really represents that you know you guys might be going like through a glow up within the upcoming month um also that it might be that you guys might be leave like something behind um, these negative patterns that you're finally dealing, you know, curing all of these negative negative patterns. Um, also know that if you are going through a transformation, that is kind of like a new beginning. And with this new beginning, it's going to be like endless possibilities. So as well, possibilities within your love life. 
really beautiful and then we have use your intuition imagination creative energy tap into source so definitely guys i'm i'm getting with group number four that you guys really have like a great potential into manifesting someone that absolutely matches you guys because you are on your life path you are like on the right path you're getting a lot of encouraging messages that uh, if you want something now that now is kind of like a, the moment for it to happen for you to manifest it and to really use your intuition to uh, guide you within this process as well so really tap into that and also use like that creative energy within this and really really beautiful so i'm going to hop into the tarot cards to see what else we can get for you guys um for the month of january let's see what we're getting month of january here so we have this first card we have this bird of rings productivity we have endurance so with this card guys a look at this a look at how this person has climbed like this top this person is slowly walking like towards this top and that's like what i feel with you guys you guys have embarked like on this journey and with this card for me it definitely um confirms that you guys are like on that path so i definitely feel like look there's still like a lot of way that this person has to walk so as i said like during the reading like i feel like you guys aren't there yet yet but because you guys are working like so hard upon the things that need to be worked on or that needs your attention um your manifestation will come soon soon but not yet i'm feeling like it's not going to be february for group number four i am feeling like a lot of abundance a lot of prosperity might come surrounding that um but that is like not your time yet okay so i feel like these two cards so let me grab them we have these six of cups so definitely we have some serenity we have some healing i feel maybe you know these limiting beliefs might stems from past relationship or you know a person from your past that has really hurt you in that way so uh, february is going to be a month where you're definitely going to push through and letting go of those emotions where you're finally going to realize that you don't want that anymore in your life as you're also having here the nine of cups we have contentment and satisfaction and that's definitely guys where you guys are working towards that satisfaction that who just feeling happy and content where you you know in your life and what you're going through because being on your life path just gives you that feeling of just being happy of just like doing something that you're very proud of and that adds to our love life um that adds to us just being proud and also attracting that person that we love so we have justice we have understanding i feel definitely this has to do with something from your past while you're going to work through all of these emotions and thoughts i feel like you guys are going to realize how these thoughts and emotions are influencing your love life at this moment but also how you guys can change that and maybe that you guys have been in a karmic relationship that you know where you guys really felt unworthy of their love or that you guys are still are holding on to patterns of that negative or i don't want to say negative but karmic relationship okay and then we have the hero friend right here we have spirituality and knowledge and we also have like the card of intuition so definitely i feel for you guys some of you guys might be very very spiritual and might also see guidance um of course within uh, the divination right here so i am getting that you guys uh, will receive when this person come into your life signs through divination whether it is like through a card reading like this or your spirit guides talking to you or angels or angel numbers or anything like that i feel like when this person comes into your life you guys will just know and that is the same knowing as you know that you're like on your life path right now that you're on like a soul mission right now so that really correlates really beautiful with you guys so last up i'm going to draw some uh kind of like angel guidance cards for you guys from the angel tarot card deck 
just to get like some messages on what the angels might want to say so let's see wow these cards are kind of like whew, all up on this reading so we have like two cards here guys look at this we have awakening okay definitely you guys are like right now in a course where you guys are pausing and reflecting uh as we're having here the hank man um but also look at this that you're embracing your own uniqueness okay so i'm feeling like you guys you guys are getting like more uh, are starting to accept yourself more as the way you are in the month of February so when you start accepting yourself more then you are getting comfortable with yourself you're starting to love yourself more and in the end that's also going to help you guys attract that person within your life when you know your value we you know your worth look at this falling in love wow this is I just kind of like I was telling you guys like I don't feel this like really coming soon but definitely the angels are thinking differently about this and so for some of you guys it will be that February um, because you guys are going through this because you guys are shifting your mind that there is a huge possibilities here for you guys to fall in love to meet like someone new within the month of february it all i think depends on how fast you guys move towards this if you guys are already kind of like at the end of this phase of course then you guys can attract someone pretty soon but if you guys like are maybe at the start of this phase it might be like a little bit too hard uh, but of course it's a general reading so you can only take what resonates with you and also here this is it don't give up on people you love hmm but I'm also kind of like getting with that don't give up on love. Just like don't give up on love. It's definitely in the cards for you guys. But I do feel like there is a lot going on. There's a lot of transformation. There is a lot of abundance. It could definitely happen for you guys. And it will definitely happen for some of you guys. Um, but there's also like a lot going on here in the background okay so group number four this was your reading i hope that this reading resonated with you if it did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new here and you like what you see consider subscribing to my channel i would love to have you around for now thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye